Hey, what's up, guys? Ultimate Gaming here, and today on the review table, we have the Transformers The Last Night Premiere Edition Optimus Prime action figure from Hasbro. So, I've been waiting to get a new Optimus Prime figure since three years ago in 2014 when uh, the Age of Extinction line came out. I did get a few of the figures, but wasn't a big fan of all of them, so I didn't get every single figure from uh, that line, and also because I didn't even find them at the time. So, anyways. Here is the figure, as you can see, in the packaging, which looks really nice packaging. On the bottom here, it says Transformers Last Night, as you can see there. Let me focus it here. I'm using my, uh, I'm using my phone to record this, so it's going to get better quality here. And I just turned off the flash, so it'll focus. Transformers Last Night, which is the new fifth installment to the Transformers um, the film franchise, I guess. Uh, top right here says uh, Premiere Edition. So, uh, like the Bumblebee, the Crank, or sorry, not Crank case, it looks just like him, but the uh, Berserker, Grimlock, and Barricade from the Premiere Editions, the Voyager, the Voyagers and Deluxe Editions, which is supposed to be Wave 1, I guess. This Optimus here, the Voyager class Optimus, is one of them. And I, if I'm correct, we didn't get a Voyager Optimus in Age of Extinction. I believe we did get a, a deluxe one. I'm not 100% sure. I need to look that up uh, later on. But I do know that they have a legend or um, leader class. I almost said legend. Leader class Optimus Prime, which I do own. And I would would have loved a Voyager class Optimus to go in my Voyager class Galvatron because... We never got a leader out Galvatron, so sucks. At least we're getting a new Megatron, though, and he looks badass from uh, the pictures that we saw at Toy Fair. So, here we have a nice picture of Optimus Prime with his shield, uh, and I'm assuming his new colors. I believe those are new colors, but he could have had them in uh, Age of Extinction as well. He, You can also see his uh, sword on his back, which hopefully you could do. Uh... As you can see in the packaging a little bit, you can see part of the back kibble that he has, which mm, it tends to be a problem with these new Transformers figures. They have back kibble, and I think that started back in uh, Dark of the Moon, I believe, because back in the days, uh, the figures didn't have much uh, back kibble, and if they did have back kibble, it kind of matched. Like, it fit in really nicely, and now it just makes the figure look bad. But the... um. Back kibble isn't too noticeable on this. We finally get the uh, pipes. I forget what they're called. The pipes there, which you can see in his back, which leader class Optimus obviously uh, he had. Uh, there was another Optimus. I forget which one that didn't have them, which sucked. So we can see his two accessories, his sword and his shield, which tends to be in, uh, some common accessories with these new Optimus. And looking at the figure here, comparing it to the packaging, it's not accurate, um, which is kind of something I do depict, or not depict, sorry, something I do tend to get mad at with these figures. It's that it's not accurate. You can see there, Prime has the flames on his chest. Well, the the figure here has just red, a red tile there, and eh, it's not the best thing ever. They could have fixed that, and I usually take flash to show you this because then there's. As you can see that reflection of the flash there. So on the side of the packaging, uh, we have Transformers. Then we have the Autobot logo up here, even though Optimus kind of isn't that from what we see in the trailers. Uh, here we have Transformers right there. Let's see the logo. Looking pretty nice, actually. Um, oh, yeah, my bad. Whoops. Ages 8 and up. Hasbro, Optimus Prime. Another Autobot logo down here. Voyager class. I knew it. Warning, choking hazard small parts may be generated, not for children under three years. We have Grimlock there, which I also did see with this Optimus at my target. When did I get him? I couldn't, sadly. Mm. Sold separately, as you can see there. Also, look for blah, blah, blah. 30 steps. Yes. Grimlock had, I believe, 18 steps of them, correct, to transform him. This one, however, has 30. Finally, I hope this isn't easy to transform. I like figures... I like the Transformers figures that were hard to transform, which I used to have a ton of them as a kid, such as the, I believe his name was Skid, from Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen. 
the Human Alliance kid. That thing was a pain to transform, you guys. If you haven't seen a review on him, it's kind of a pain. So, uh, includes Optimus Prime figure, two accessories and instructions. Um, some poses may require additional support, of course. Uh, right here, Western Star Hasbro down here, made in Vietnam. Hasbro Canada, blah, 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 right there. So, as you can see, here's a picture of the truck mode. Here's a picture of his auto or his his robot mode, and 30 steps to transform him. We'll see if that's easy or not. So let's take him out of the packaging. Here we have Optimus out of his packaging and in his alt mode. And mm, I gotta admit, I played with this figure a little bit with my Galvatron as well. And I like them. Well, I've always liked Galvatron. And, but Optimus though, I really like him. I think he's cool. I only have one, so far, one little flaw. But until I uh, continue to review him, I'll probably have more. Uh, anyways. There's one flaw which I'll get into a little bit, but to compare him with the uh, leader class Optimus from Age of Extinction, here is the leader class. As you can see, there is a big difference, like a big, huge difference. For one, uh, obviously, there's a Voyager, but it kind of looks like a Deluxe, if I'm going to be honest, compared to Optimus. But I guess, you know, Hasbro had to save some cash, even though they were going to make a shit ton of them out of these new figures. But you could see a little bit of similarity on these two. For one, the top part on top of the windows, I'm not sure what it's called. They do look the same. Uh, one little difference is that the flames on this one are more smaller than the ones on this one. This one almost goes to the window. This one is more still on the hood of the truck. Of the truck. Down here, kind of looks the same. Same with the flames. Uh, same as the uh, hood. The bottom, there's swords right there. This one went a little sideways here. But yeah, anyways, there's swords right here held. The back, the shields. You can see a big difference here as well. You can see more kibble on this one as well. If we remove the shield here, you can see uh, part of the legs there. Which I don't have my flash on anymore since my battery is too low apparently. So I can't really show you that sadly. Anyways, so... To compare the shield, first off, as the weapons, this one is bigger because obviously it is a leader class. This one is smaller because it's obviously the Voyager class. But as you can see, there's a big difference on the cannon that they both have. This one doesn't really look like it has a cannon at all. So, but this one, however, does, and it looks badass. But you could see some similarities, I guess, not a lot. Uh, and I do prefer this shield, honestly. This one just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest here. It's not accurate, and that's one of the flaws I have. Not only is it too small and looks somewhat for, like, Bumblebee or something. Uh, if I get the Age of Extinction Bumblebee here. As you can see, here's Bumblebee, and the shield looks to be his size. And also could be a cannon for him as well. Right there. Look at that. It fits Bumblebee more than it does Optimus in his robot mode. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know why they made it too small. I mean, they could have they could have used this exact thing. I wouldn't have mind, honestly. I love the way this shield is. But they could have, like, made it a little bit smaller. Like, cut off part of the gun here. And then, like, shrink the top part as well. Instead of just, like, making this. That's a big difference right there. Honestly. So, yeah. There's the shield for comparison. If we wiggle this sword out here. That pull out his sword, which is more easier to take out. Here are the swords. Again, another big difference here. This the top blade here goes all the way down to the handle on this one. This one kind of cuts off, and then it has like a nice Cybertronian detail here, like a little more robot type detail, which kind of makes it look like a Power Rangers weapon, which is kind of cool actually. Uh, again, has real messed up. By giving us, like, not even accurate colors on these weapons than they are in the movie. Like, everybody, I, me including myself, complained that this was not silver. I hated this when I got this figure for the first time. I didn't make a review on this figure, by the way. But uh, I did on Hound and, I believe, Autobot Hound was his name. Garbage Truck and Galvatron. So, 
I, when I got this figure, I complained that the paint wasn't at silver like this. I was like, why is this yellow? It looks dumb. And again, we have the same problem here, except this one's orange. Yeah, we did see some orange here towards, like, the tip, or in the middle, I forgot where, in the movie. But, God, Jesus, honestly. It's the big mistake here. The instructions, by the way, just tells you how to transform them. Throw that over there. Actually, no, I'm going to get that out of the frame. But here on the truck, or on the truck, on the box here, you can see the big difference. N this isn't even close to accurate. This isn't accurate either, but this looks kind of more robotic and fits Optimus. Although this does look more like a knight sword. So, again, kind of like them, kind of don't at the same time. But we're not talking about this Optimus yet. Or, we're not talking about this Optimus in general. So, let's keep his weapons there, but we're going to take Optimus out of frame here. Bring up my table. Put that there. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys how to transform him now. First thing you're gonna want to do is this is how I do it. This is not what the instructions. The instructions that it only tells you how to transform him into vehicle mode because when you take him out of the packaging, he's in robot mode. First thing you want to do is untab this uh the roof part the roof part of the truck when. Put that up here. Let leave it there. Want to unclip the doors on the sides. Fold those out, and you want to separate the arms and the legs because they are kind of connected there. Once you do that, you want to come to the back here and do this easy part. You want to untab the legs here and rotate these little parts downwards. They are on the ball joint, so you could also pop them off if you don't like how they look when he's in robot mode. You want to untab the arm from the foot, right here, you can see here in the hand, and then you want to fold these back because there is a little tab there and there is a hole in here, if I can kind of get you to see it in there. There's a hole here in the back, which I can't show you sadly, but yeah, there's a little tab and then if you just pull this back all the way and you fold it down, you'll hear a click, which I was talking over, so here, let me let you hear it. They're small little click, not too big, so you could possibly miss it. So with the feet, you want to fold these all the way back here to the uh, back part of the leg. So this, fold those back, leave those there. We're going to work on those in a little bit. The arms, you want to split those out. You want to turn this inwards like this. Or sorry, no, you want to keep them downwards, my bad. And you want to, there's going to be a little hole right here, or like a little square right here a little square in there and this has a big tab so you're gonna want to click that in like that so you can't really hear click there but uh you could have won now when the figure comes out of packaging his uh little shoulder pads are gonna be back you want to un unclip those because he did or untap those because there is a tab here on the back of his shoulder do i focus here there you can see a little tab and this also does have a tab there as you can see a little hole you want to put those to the side here on his uh, shoulders and there you have the arms all right so now you want to fold this back more and you want to pull up Mrs. head because it is behind uh, it is hidden back here behind the chest you want to fold the chest like this and pull this out and you want to slide these little chest uh, pieces right here right there I don't know what you call these chest pads I don't know you want to uh, slide those up and they kind of do hinge on or tab on something up here it's like a little red towel that you want to just plug in there and there you go so once you've done that you have the upper torso ready and transformed right there and now to the bottom torso oh, also not including the back yet uh, we're going to work on that as well once we spin the legs around. So you want to make his legs like this, where he can kind of stand up. And you want to... Oh, whoops. You also... This part's going to be folded up when uh, you make him sit down. In like a sitting down position. And backwards sitting down. So you want to fold that down. And fold it down as well with his legs. You want to turn this around here. Once you do that, you go to the back here and... You fold these in here, and as you can see, these are going to have some tabs, and he is going to have some tabs on this gray piece as well, some parts where it can tab in. 
So you want to leave like a space here in the middle for it to go inwards, and then you just tab it in and it slides in there pretty nicely. I will get rid of this um, back cable and I will do a tutorial on how to do that. If you get this figure and you don't like this back cable like me, uh, I'll do a tutorial on how to take this whole back piece off with the um, the roof and the doors. And then you only have the back and you won't have any cable on the back. So I'll do a tutorial on that pretty soon. You want to spin the legs forward here like this. You want to, so you want to pull this up, these two, you want to do a split so you can get these out of the way and it's not bothering you. So then you want to fold this foot down, it will be tabbed in here, as you can see a little tab there. You want to do this with both feet now, this. So once you do that, you want to rotate this on both sides, you want to rotate it forward so that the little tab that the foot has here, We'll tab into this little empty spot and it clicks in there and it becomes stable. You want to do that on both sides. There you have the feet and now you have to get rid of, or now you have to do the back cable part. Which all you have to do is kind of f uh, get these little front pieces and you want to turn them all the way around here and they will tab on the bottom like so. So you pull them out and then it will just tab like that. Once you do that, you want to pull these up here. Do this. So, okay. So, pull this up, and it's going to be on a ball joint. So, you want to twist this and slide it behind here. As you can see, there's a big tab on the side of his uh, leg, and he does have his little hole right there. So, you want to tab that in there. It should be stable. If it's not, and just try to, like, press it in there harder. Like so. Like that. And you have this part, and you want to do the exact same on this spot. So after you've turned this front part, you want to do that. Twist this, slide it behind his uh, side piece, and bam. So this part also will come loose on some at some times, and that kind of is bothering. Or it kind of bothers me at least. But anyways, there you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and it's pretty easy transformation to his robot mode especially after a few times uh but to his vehicle mode it's a little bit harder especially on the feet on the feet part when you have to connect them to the hands in front and then you have to make the front part of the trailer with the hood and all that it is harder so anyways let's get his sword in this hand i you could put this in in that hand or you can put it in this hand so the sh sword does go in both hands. Also, the shield can go in this hand if you want it to. Or, or in this arm, sorry. And it can also go into the other arm here. As well, like that. So you want it to, you can have like a shield and a sword here. Like that. Just slice and dice. Or you can have his sword on the other hand while his shield's on the opposite arm. Like that. And get him some really nice poses there. Just again, the shield kind of bothers me. But yeah, the shield is if you don't have the Age of Extinction one, you don't know how the shield would work. So it does have a giant like peg, peg like um, thing here on the side of the arm right here by the elbow joint. There is a giant hole, and you do just peg that in, and it stays in there nicely. Like this, so you can shake it and it'll stay very, uh, it'll stay in there very tightly. And you can also rotate this as well if you want it back like that. And you just want like a regular shield, which also looks pretty cool. And you can flip it forward for, uh, like cannon mode on his shield. Yeah, or if you want, which is what I kind of did, you can use the Age of Extinction shield, which kind of does fit because it has a smaller tab here as well, which is the exact same size as this little tab. And it fits in there nicely. The whole shield doesn't go in there, so it is kind of loose a little bit. Well, it stays in, in there pretty good. And it does, I prefer this shield look. It is a little too big on him, I would admit. But it looks really awesome once you get him into a few poses with him. Once you get it into a few poses with him, is what I mean. So this sword can also go in his hand as well, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, it is a little too big. Like that, as you can see. Now, if I, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get this other sword. So, 
Here's another sword I have from a one-step changer Optimus, which is the same size as the leader Optimus right here. And this one is more of a gray sword, which it does not fit. So this Optimus can only hold uh, various type of swords here. And this shield does also add extra weight with him, this big shield. So that is a little flaw you will have with this figure. Uh, overall, it's a really nice figure. It's pretty decent for what it is. But honestly, I think this figure is overpriced. And a lot of you are probably wondering how much this costs. And very quickly before I do tell you how much it costs, uh, this is not any store exclusive. You could find this anywhere, Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us. Hold up. <laughs> just need to take a quick... Um, uh, just need to take a quick break right there. But this is not a store exclusive. None of these are exclusives, uh, as of what I know. Or as of what I heard, sorry. So you could find this at any store. Or any store that sells toys. Such as Target, again, Toys, or toys R Us, Walmart. Uh, I did find this at Target. I was lucky, so, yep. Anyways, this figure... Ooh, I gotta admit, for for a pretty costly figure, it is easy to get it out of the box. I mean, it's like this little strand of tape here. Once you, like, cut that, you can like, easily just pull this forward and take this out and just, like, pull the figure out. And it's... You would expect for an overpriced figure to, you know, have better security, especially when it comes to opening up the box and taking the figure out. But it does have a lot of stuff strapping it down. Anyways... So, the moment you've all been waiting for, the price. You've been hearing me saying it's overpriced. It is. In case you didn't collect, in case you're new to collecting Transformers or you were born, like, after 2011, you don't know how much cheaper these Voyager classes were. So, the leader class were originally, and during, like, Transformers 1 and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the figures... The leader class was like $30, $35, so, I mean, it's a big toy, so it's a good price for it. Nowadays, the leader class are like 50 bucks, right? These figures used to be 20 $20, $19.99 plus tax in stores. Um, The Voyager class is back in the Revenge of the Fallen and Transformers 1 days. Ever since Dark of the Moon, these Voyager classes, which have been shrunken down to be like deluxe size... Are twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. That's like thirty dollars, thirty one depends. These figures are thirty bucks. A Voyager class, which is pretty small actually, thirty dollars. It's kind of expensive, and I mean, if you're if we're talking about the last night Bumblebee, thirty dollars is really like going down the drain with the Bumblebee. That's the premiere edition because it's that Bumblebee is basically this exact Bumblebee right here. Painted all yellow. All yellow. Yeah, all yellow. Except the hood here is like two stripes, I believe. I don't know. I saw the Bumblebee figure. I, th I didn't even want it, dude. Uh, but yeah, here's the here's Bumblebee next to Voyager Prime. Uh, but okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how the size is and uh, what's called last night. But according to the trailer, Bumblebee's more like up here. Take away this back kibble, but from the head... He's, like, right here up to the chest. Down here, he's more, like, to the pelvis area. So, yeah. But I guess you could have, like, a nice uh, little matchup here, like, from the trailer. Bone be, like, attacks Optimus. He just body slams him, like, ugh. Yeah. You you get more playability with this Optimus rather than you did with the leader class. Because the leader class towered over Bumby. He was, like, like, if I can get my hand and show Bumby at the same time. He was up here, dude. Like, leader class was up here, and that was a hard matchup, especially with Bumby. He was, like, right here. Right there. And Voyager class, like, all the way down here, which is pretty funny, honestly. Now, th there's a comparison with, uh, Deluxe Bumblebee from Age of Extinction, which usually we only get, uh, Deluxe Bumblebees, unless it's, um, the uh, Human Alliance Bumblebee or the, uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee, which I believe is gonna be bigger. Uh, I believe it's leader class size, which is really nice. And here is op here is uh this trailer, his op his new Optimus. Here's new Optimus, which I'm gonna call him from 
uh, Age of Extinction, where he's in like a brand new truck, compared to Evasion Optimus, which is also a Voyager, because we did not get a damn leader class. I would have loved the leader class of this guy, dude. Especially like all rusty and stuff. I know we did get a second variant of him rusty, but you know, I, I believe that was a store exclusive, and I really couldn't find him, even if he wasn't a store exclusive. But yeah, as you can see, they are pretty good size here. Like that, and you can see this Optimus does seem a little bit taller. But overall, it's really nice, especially if you're if especially if you get this Optimus instead of the leader class from Age of Extinction, or you didn't get the leader class from Age of Extinction, then you can have a really nice um, setup here, and it's a lot easier to play with as well because. You don't have to like have Optimus this small, and then when he all of a sudden turns into the new truck, and you have the leader class, he's like uh, taller, basically, like how I showed you before compared to Bumby. He's like super tall, and it's like this one is super short. So yeah, here he is next to <clears throat> next to Galvatron, which I also, in case you didn't notice, I did customize Bumby and got rid of part of the back cable there as much as I could. And same with Galvatron here, I got rid of his back cable because I just didn't match it. Looked like he had a fucking jetpack, dude. Also, this is much better because the sword can go all the way through his back. Ooh. Not this one specifically, but like this one can go all the way through, kind of. See it kind of peeking out there in the in the back. That. So. But yeah. Uh. So here they are compared. So again, this is what I really liked about getting this figure. I, I was even saying the truck to uh, my brother, I'm like, I actually like this Optimus better because the leader class, he was towering over Galvatron, dude. Like, I, in order to use, like, I had to pretend the Revenge of the Fallen leader class is Megatron. I had to pretend that a leader class was Galvatron in order to play with my leader class Optimus. And even Optimus was shorter than the Megatron, which is funny. But now, look, I have a perfect matchup here of Optimus versus... Um, Galvatron, which is a lot better, because now I can do m my, um, matchup, which we never got in the damn movie. Or in part four, at least, because now we're getting Megatron again, somehow. I don't know. I feel like Michael Bay just, like, heard nobody won nobody liked Galvatron, because he didn't have that much screen time, so we didn't get enough time to like him. So, I guess Michael Bay had to bring back, uh, what's his name? Megatron. So, here's, I believe Autobot Hound was his name? I can't remember. Yeah, um, he, uh, Hound is a pretty big, uh, Transformer himself, I gotta admit, not like, not like, bulky size weight, I mean, like, tall. So, this is more of an accurate represent, or, ac yeah, accurate representation compared to, again, Leader Class Optimus, which you're gonna probably hear me ranting a lot about in this video. And finally, the comparison you've probably been waiting for. Oh. His parts fell off. Give me a second. Give me a second, you guys. Let me just put on his parts and tab them all correctly. Alright, hold up, hold up, you guys. Let me just put his tail on. Oh, I just gave it away who it was. Um, here is Voyager Optimus next to... Wait, hold up. Give me a second, you guys. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties here. Here you have Voyager Optimus next to... Sorry, I had to pause very quickly. Here is Voyager Class Optimus next to Leader Class Grimlock. Ooh, that is still not good. Even with Grimlock standing... Which he can't, actually. I forgot. Whoops. Even with Grimlock standing up, oh, this Optimus is still bigger. We need an ac a movie accurate... Or a movie accurate size... Optimus to go with this damn Grimlock. Like, leader class Optimus made this look like a fucking baby T Rex. And this Optimus makes it look like a young T Rex. Now, if you try to make this Optimus sit down on uh, Grimlock here, it's gonna look a little bit awkward. Look at this. What the hell? God dang it! Dang it, Hasbro. Why can't you give us an accurate one? But here is Voyager Optimus next to the one-step changer Grimlock, which kind of makes the leader class Optimus look more movie accurate. And wow, this is going to be really huge, you guys. Oh my god, I almost knocked down one of my lamps here. So, if I pull the lamp up here, 
Let's see, that is huge, dude. You can even... I have to pull my lamp into frame just for you to see this, dude. Look at this. My goodness. Okay, you can even see my lamp up there. That's how big this thing is. It takes up almost half of the review table here. But yeah, th I think this Optimus will look more accurate with this giant Grimlock, which is supposed to only fit the one-step changing figures. But look at this! Oh my god, yes! Yes, if you have this Grimlock, which used to be 50 bucks, you could use this Voyager Optimus on it! Yeah! Mmm, hype, boys, hype! You're probably thinking, oh my god, you're overreacting. <laughs> no, I'm not, actually. I've been waiting for uh, a Grimlock figure that is accurate with this Optimus, and I got this recently for a pretty good price, honestly. It's like, not even divided by five, the price. Well, actually, it's more like the... I don't know. Whatever. But I found this for a really low price, and it's really good. The battery still working and everything. And look. Yes. Not only does it really fit um, later class very pretty good, but it fits this Optimus even better. Yes. I'm trying not to scream here because I don't want to be super loud either in my house. Like, this is the best Optimus ever. So, now getting Grimlock out of here. Okay. I'd probably, I'd love to do a comparison of this Voyager class Optimus with uh, my Devastator from Revenge of the Fallen. That huge build, uh, building Devastator. I was about to say build a figure, but no, he had all his parts with him. Um, I was, <laughs> I wanted to compare them, but Devastator would literally fall over, knock over all my laps with him. Now, my overall rating. This figure's really good. Alright. Now, number rating here from well, 1 through 10, I give this figure um, 8. Now, I'm not really one to like Hasbro here, but I gotta admit, they did some good job with this figure. And one, uh, there was one, two reasons why I took off a point. So, the shield, which was like half a point, and the accuracy, which was another half point. Oh, also, I forgot to show you guys, this is really nice here. Will my flash turn on? Nope. Alright, well, if we focus here. you This Optimus has blue eyes, which is really nice, because then you don't have to use a light to get that blue light that you probably always wanted. Or that blue eye shine that you always wanted. So, they did paint that blue, light blue, which is the same as the shield here. Which is really nice. Another, like, non-accurate is this. It's blue instead of silver. Again, a lot of, a lot of, um... Stuff that are that is not accurate, but I mean, you can always count on Hasbro to not be accurate, mm. unless it's you know Marvel Legends and they're usually accurate with that. This figure is really good, minus the kibble he's got on his back here. All this, the front side, however, is really cool. You could get him into really nice poses, and he's really good size if you have a Galvatron figure. Bam! Get I recommend this figure for your Galvatron, and you have a good matchup here. Really nice matchup there. Or if you want like a move or like a height accurate Optimus, Voyager class is the one to go. But if you want the um, I'm gonna call him Dark Side Optimus, where he his paint is all like gray and black, and it's like the Leader class Optimus from Age of Extinction. If you want like a dark Optimus when he's like floating in space, all like kind of dead, I guess you could say. I definitely pick up that leader class Optimus, which hasn't come out yet. I don't know what wave he's coming out in. Um, expect more Transformers reviews in the future, you guys. I will be picking up some of the new ones as well. Probably, biz definitely not Bumblebee. Do not expect the premiere edition Bumblebee. You could expect the wave three Bumblebee from Transformers last night, however, because that figure is actually looking good so far from the prototype images that we've seen. Also. You could also expect a leader class Megatron from the last night review. Definitely hype for him. That's the one I'm waiting for the most right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, remember to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Goodbye.